<sighs> Beautiful videos will be referred to from the D website by Dr. Kirill Kovacs. If you don't know him, he's like Richard Levitan, but not of the United States, but Canada. Okay? Um, it's a big difference. I asked where's the peep valve. People look at me like a third head. So peep valve, front fin, peep. In your bag. You're by yourself. So little technique. If you're sitting with someone else and your hands are big enough, you can try to do it CE method. But I'm gonna tell you, most of us don't have big banana hands. Bilateral jaw thrust. Peep out. Peep out. Peep out. Regardless if you're using it for the tracheostomy, LMA. KLT, superglide device like the combi tube, bag, place the peep out. And ideally, entitled CO2. Entitled CO2 on this to prove that I'm ventilating the oxygen that's being pumped through this medium. Make sense? I'm not crazy. Regardless where I'm at, regardless where I work, there's certain things that are essential and very important. This peep out should be automatically purchased with these BDMs, but people have different opinions. If, it, if you don't have it already bought with the BDM, put it on. It will make a difference on why this patient be sad. If you don't have this, every time you bag, the lung is inflating and deflating, so you're not recruiting more alveoli than the alveoli that were recruited with the bagging, get de recruited and collapse. Every time you bag, you recruit and de recruit. You keep the P valve, it becomes a closed system, and you keep on recruiting more and more alveoli. The alveoli that were open, stay open, and you keep on recruiting more alveoli. That promotes exchange of oxygen, equals oxygenation, less atelectasis, less collapse, more wash out of nitrous, more oxygen to the lungs, and they'll provide oxygenation to the rest of the body for the patient. Understand? Please come back for another episode of Skull Girls.